Let's learn how we can use Excel's autofill feature to enter the same data in multiple cells. Now, let me delete these values for hardcover and let's try to use a different method to enter the same. So I'm going to type in hardcover in cell C3 and hit enter. So now we have this data in cell C3 and if I would like to copy the same in all these four other cells, then if I take my mouse pointer to the right bottom edge of cell C3, and you can see that the mouse pointer changes to a plus sign, and this is called now the fill handle, and I can use my left click on the mouse to select it, and then while pressing the left click, I'm going to drag it down. And as I drag down, you can see that these, the values that I had in the first cell C3 has now been copied over. And you can see that the, not only the values, but also the formatting has been copied over. So this feature is called autofill, where Excel is replicating the same information into all the other selected cells. And you see a small icon here, it's called the smart icon, where it will give you more options for the autofill. So when I click on this one, you can see that I can either choose copy cells, which is what the default was, where the information in cell three, C3 was copied over. Or I can also choose one of the other, other methods. If I choose fill, without formatting, it is going to only copy the value of the cell and not any of the formatting. Because we actually would like only the values to be copied and not these blue lines in between, because these blue borders are based on the top border for the cell C3, which is the blue dark line, that is also getting carried over. And so instead of copying exactly, let, let us choose fill without formatting. And now you can see that the borders are not copied, only the values are copied. Another option there would be fill formatting only. And when I choose this, Excel will fill or copy only the format and not the value. So only the blue dark border has been copied over, but not the actual value. So we can always go back and change it. So since we want fill without formatting, I'm going to choose fill without formatting and click anywhere else. Now you have the values copied over very quickly to the other four cells. This is a method that I would recommend if you want to copy or repeat the same data in multiple cells in the same row or column. So for example, here, we want to drag this all the way through. You, it'll be easy to re repeat the same value in several, several cells very quickly. And also remember that this method also works in all four directions. So I can select the fill handle and copy over this way. I'm going to do undo. I can also do it this way. I can also drag it to the left and I could also drag it to the top. So all the four directions you can copy cells over or you can then choose one of these other options where you want to only copy the formatting or only copy the values. So let me delete this because we don't need this. Another variation of this method is instead of dragging, instead of selecting one and then dragging, we could also do something slightly different. So for example, after entering in cell C3, I can use this fill handle here. Instead of clicking and dragging, I'm going to double click it. So again, when you double click it, Excel by default will copy and repeat the same information in all the cells. And you can come back here and then do this. So when you have only a few cells, it doesn't make a big difference between clicking and dragging and then double clicking. But if you have lots of rows of data, instead of dragging all the way, you can click the double click. So this is a very convenient method. Let me undo it again. And this double click method, when you double clicked it, 
it actually stopped in cell C7. And that's because Excel came across a blank row here and Excel thinks I should not be extending this copy function any further because my data set or data section is over. So Excel is stopping here in cell C7. So when it finds a blank row in the sheet, it'll stop. Also, if you have another value here, let's say this is already entered. So then when you double click it, Excel will go only here and then it'll stop because it found a value.